Is it the mask modeler? <laughs> some good news for a change. All of us here in Russia want to manage. They're very proud to be televising the revolution. The airwaves are electric. The writing is on the wall. And the golden age of bright keeps us upon us. And what the hell are you doing about it? I'm telling you right now, it's time to free yourself from the chains of paranoia. It's time to lose the shackles of mistrust. Time to get out of Dodge and look towards a future that will inspire, not destroy. Rome is burning and some block will not help you now. All roads lead to Resentopia. And the secret is out. The beast from the east has reared its resonant head. And the fortunate ones who were somehow caught in its glare were rich rewarded beyond their wildest imagination. And now, you can be too, because Resident Evil 2013 is coming sooner than you think, so you better start selling blood now to make sure you've got enough cash for all the garage kits you'll be buying, because if you're watching this right now, it's already too late. The only way we're going to get out of this is if we work together. So if you love garage kits, and you like to hang out with a lot of other people who do as well, all of us here at Monster Model Madness strongly recommend that after you check out our close and personal look at Resident Evil 2012, that you get yourself an airplane ticket, book your hotel, and make the commitment to yourself, your family, and all your friends that on the weekend of March 23rd and 24th of 2013, you will be speeding down the Styrene Superhighway, that you will have many a vision in vinyl, but there is no doubt that you will be rocking in resin like there's no tomorrow. So all we have to do is run the film and hope that you all enjoy Risen Tobia 2012. Can you dig it? <laughs> What was the first horror movie you remember seeing that, that blew your mind, that sticks with you forever? Probably Frankenstein. I'm a big Frankenstein and Dracula fan, universal stuff, black and white, you know, there's just a, something charming and magical about that. Very cool. Okay. Uh, what was the first uh, horror movie you remember seeing that blew your mind when you were young? Okay, this, this will be a big moment. Because uh, actually, my mom used to take me to the drive to see Filipino horror films. Uh, you know, Beast of Blood, uh, yeah. Mad Doctor of Blood Island. That really had a big effect. Also, Hammer films, you know, the Dust and Dawn horror films. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that Night of Living Dead, which uh, kept me awake for probably about 
I don't think I've ever slept well. <laughs> but seriously, um, no, those had to be some of them. You know, it wasn't just one film, but a, a rather a whole mash of them all. Yeah, very cool. What was the first horror movie you remember seeing that blew your mind when you were a kid? Oh, I got a great story for this. Uh, the, the, the one that actually, you know, turned me into a monster kid, I, I'll never forget it. It was made the year I was born, and I saw it uh, sometime in the uh, mid to late 60s. It was Gorgo. And I can remember not really having interest in models or anything, or not models, I'm sorry, movies, monsters, or any of that stuff, and one night I caught it, and what I connected with was the little boy. He had that connection for with Baby Gorgo and everything, and uh, ever since then, to this day, I love it when the giant monster's on the loose and they call the military, and, uh, and, then, and then just let it go, and I always root for the monster, and somehow he always loses in the end, <laughs> but well, Gorg Gorgo was the movie that, that did it. Very cool.
brought you into it? How did you discover Garage Kits? Well, like a lot of uh, people, I painted the Aurora Kits when I was a kid. And then I got away from my I threw them away, blew them up, did all that stuff everybody did. And I was a rock drummer, I did all this stuff for years, and then I got into collecting Godzilla toys. And as I saw the garage kits they were doing in Japan, it really got me back into it. And now I just, all of them. <laughs> Very cool. Any, any ones that are good. And uh, did you buy lots of kits? Are you taking home some resin? Yep, I already bought two. And what did you buy? I bought Rob's, uh, Rob Rotundi's Quint kit, and I also bought Carl Monster Dork's uh, Rick from The Walking Dead. Very cool. And uh, how long have you been building model kits, Alex? Since I was six, so nine years. Nine years. Well, you're almost a pro now. <laughs> you going to write for AFM one day? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. High expectations. Uh, very cool. But hey, there's something to shoot for, man. And uh, do you like uh, Resident Why do you still do it after all these years? What makes you keep on keeping on with this? It's my passion. Yeah. It's, it's what I live for more than anything in life that my, my family and the models, I, it's just all of the thoughts that I had to do as kids, I, I, I like to see them come about and manifest into actual kids, and there you have them. Yeah. Why do you still do this crazy hobby? Well, from day one, I've always loved it, you know, I've always enjoyed uh, figural type stuff, I've enjoyed traveling, I enjoy meeting new people, and good God, to look around all the stuff, it's a very visual hobby. And, you know, all, all I need to do is see, you know, the early Japanese kits, and it's only gotten better from there. So, you know, what, what more reason do you need? I, I, I love the stuff. I've never lost my enthusiasm for it, and I hope I'll be doing it for another 25 years. Very cool. Well, that was my next
Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed our up close and personal look at Risen Toby in 2012. The coolest garage kit show ever. If you only go to one show this year, if you've never been to a garage kit show at all, Risen Toby is the one to see and be seen at. Be sure to bring lots of money. That's for sure you will be crying tears of joy as you walk the eyes of Risen Toby. After having your Risen Toby experience of a lifetime, you will never ever be the same again. This ain't your grandfather's hobby anymore. It's a catharsis. So forget about all that have come before and get your ass to present Tobia. The show you just watched was a Crow Diddly production.